Do you hear me there? Yeah? Uh, please come here, grab the last pies and coffee, and we are about, we need to start already, it's time. Uh, so, we traditionally have a question, who is first time on Creative Mornings? I see many familiar faces, but still, uh, yeah. Some new, nice to meet you. And uh, as usual, I will briefly tell you about the format, what, what it's all about, uh, why we gather here and why people come in the mornings. Uh, so we are Creative Morning Stalin. It's an international format of uh, events. It's all started in New York City in 2007, I guess. Uh, and uh, it was uh, started by Tina Rotheisenberg. She's a Swiss designer based in New York. And she decided that creative people need to gather and come from their uh, daily routine and meet new people from different spheres. And actually, it's true, it works, as you can see. Uh, and uh, yes, and in Tallinn, we are already two years. We are happy, and today is our little birthday. Thank you. Actually, it all started in May uh, 2017. Yes, and last May we skipped. And uh, so we celebrated today. Uh, I hope uh, some of you had time to grab our pie. And yet here are some pictures. You can also watch pictures from the previous events. Uh, it actually was very inspiring for me also to when you look all the pictures and you see that, yes, it's actually lots of work we have done in these years. And thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for supporting us. And it, it's very nice to meet uh, familiar faces in the morning and people supporting this event and actually it's not only in Tallinn it's uh, nowadays in already 204 cities actually almost two weeks each two weeks like one new city adds to this um, network and today uh, Creative Mornings is run in uh, about 67 countries and uh, there is one small life hack if you're traveling and I know that already some of our members do this uh, you can watch if the event is happening in the city where you are and you can meet locals or people from the same industry. So on the website you can come and see upcoming events and you will see where the event is happening. So uh, actually, usually Creative Mornings is happen happens on Friday, as you know, and today it's I think our first time when we do it on Wednesday. And it's for us also interesting and like experiment, will people come or they like Friday mornings? But as we can see, uh, it doesn't matter which day it is. And uh, today the event is also happens in Dubai and actually in Tallinn. That's it. And uh, the next events happen mostly on Friday, so June 21st, of course, and there are many, many, many cities already. And yeah, we have a kind of manifesto with, with drivers. Uh, it's there on the wall, you can read it afterwards. And the main idea of it that we believe that everyone is creative and we don't judge or like restrict any kind of uh, professions. We think that uh, anyone is welcome to come for the event and join us. And we also have uh, many people from different like, professions, uh, artists and creative types, but I will tell about it <laughs> very soon. Uh, we have also three main global companies which support Creative Mornings worldwide. It's MailChimp, Adobe and uh, WordPress. Of course, they are helping with social media, with creative tools, as you know, Adobe, and uh, MailChimp, uh, it is our newsletter where you can also subscribe and get our the information about the upcoming events which we have. I forgot to say that Creative Mornings is a monthly event and it happens once a month, usually on Friday. And in Tallinn, we have very great partners who actually support us already during all these two years. And it's very nice to have this kind of long-term relationship where we're really like friends and everyone really comes and very motivated to do these events for you. And first, I want to thank Eve 99 who started to host us and is already a home place. Uh, thank you for, it's like a working space actually. You can rent a desk here and work here and jo join their startup community. And uh, our sponsor is New Law Company. They are also based in Tallinn and they work with creative types, uh, creative businesses. Uh, so if you need a lawyer, check them out. And also big thanks to them for supporting us already also almost during all these two years. And the event media, thank you for recording the video. All the videos uh, from the previous event events you can also watch on our Creative Mornings website. 
And of course, after this, we will also share with you a video, and you can share it with your friends who are not here today. Uh, and yes, our good partner, Caffeine, uh, thanks them for energy. Coffee is very important in the morning. I see how all you run to grab a cup of coffee. Uh, thanks them for supporting us. And uh, Nikolai Pais also started to work with us in May 2017. It was also very uh, f funny and very great experience, actually, every time they're here and with new pies and new delicious food for the morning. And uh, yes, we have a new partner. Uh, we're developing. Uh, it's a printing company, Ellington Printing. They actually uh, asked us to tell you one great idea that they are launching Ion Print. You can check it out. And it's a new software if you work a lot with printing materials and you need to monitor production and uh, the process of printing. So you can check out and we will share a newsletter about it as well. And uh, we want to thank Colorado for presence. It's already a little bit that we'll have a present for our speaker. Uh, this is a printing company who prints on textile. And uh, yeah, we have lots of friends as you can see. And uh, thanks to Machina Studio, they're helping us with designs. Uh, and uh, yes, the, the last thing, drink and draw. This is also a community kind of event in Tallinn. We have some artists here, they usually draw on, on stage, but sometimes they are shy to come on the stage. <laughs> so they prefer to see, if you want, if, if there are some artists from drink and draw, we can put cheers and you can come here, draw as we usually do it. So feel free. You can also check them out if you like to draw or want to learn. It's very like uh, drink and draw, so drinking and drawing, very funny format. They are also very good friends of ours. And yes, finally, <laughs> let's move uh, to the theme, why we are all today here. Each month we have a theme which we discuss. And today's theme was chosen by Copenhagen, and it's wonder, a uh, very, I think, interesting theme. Uh, very connected with the creative professionals and not only the creative professionals but with uh, anyone how you, knew, you find a new way and it's I think also like a base, basement of your life wisdom and how you find the new projects and uh, new ideas but uh, I will invite our speaker I'm not the one who is talking about wonder today please welcome uh, Stevan Histo Evestos the director of Baba Lava we will talk about wandering in the creative professions. Uh, thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Steven Christo Evestus. And I'm a newcomer in this area, so I just uh, started my work uh, in uh, Vava Lava. Uh, and uh, Vava Lava is a, a theater center in uh, Teliskivi Creative City. And uh, I hope that you all know uh, this place. And if you do not know, then I hope uh, uh, see you in, uh, in autumn or or in winter time, so uh, we will have uh, many surprises for you. But uh, I will start uh, from uh, uh, the beginning. Uh, so uh, you asked me to tell my story, and uh, of course uh, many people have asked uh, it, uh, it from me. So uh, it means uh, uh, some of the people think that uh, my story is interesting and uh, there may be also some wonder in this story. I don't know. You decide it. So uh, <clears throat> I'm uh, very happy uh, to be in front of you and uh, share my story. So. Uh, <clears throat> I'm particularly happy to see uh, some familiar faces in the crowd, so uh, uh, some of my friends and some of my companions, and uh, I am glad that you are here, and 
you and all the other listeners here uh, will, come, uh, will give me some kind of confidence and uh, uh, confidence uh, just uh, to share my story with you. Uh, to introduce myself, uh, uh, I can say that uh, I am uh, on a journey like you because I'm just a simple, simple person like you. And obviously I'm a little uh, different uh, because uh, my story has uh, touched so many people. Uh, my family, my friends, uh, my former colleagues, my new colleagues, and of course uh, also uh, the public uh, general. So, uh, <clears throat> the topic of uh, today's meeting uh, is uh, Wanda. And uh, I bet you ask that uh, what is uh, Wanda for me? And uh, what uh, does, uh, what does this mean to me? So, uh, <clears throat> uh, I think that uh, wonder is uh, definitely something, uh, something uh, that has happened to me. Uh, I'm here today in front of you, and uh, it's a nice uh, summer morning, and uh, all the people uh, here are creative persons, I hope, and also very open-minded. Uh, so, uh, you have to know that uh, I have come from, uh, from uh, uh, another environment. And a uh, uh, year ago, I came uh, to this area. To, to, uh, to Teleskibi Creative uh, City, for example, only for a dinner or just uh, to see a new play in Vabalava Theater Center or uh, to a nice concert. Uh, so uh, you see, uh, there were nothing special. And uh, also, I can say that uh, uh, I breathed in this uh, nice air and uh, enjoyed spending uh, my time in, uh, in this uh, area. Uh, and uh, I like this environment uh, very much. So now uh, we celebrated uh, the 10th anniversary of this uh, uh, creative city. And it seems that uh, people uh, like this uh, part of uh, Tallinn, this part of Kalamaja, and uh, it will have much greater success than, uh, uh, than, uh, than we have uh, right now. One uh, fact more. You uh, have to know that uh, I worked a uh, completely different system uh, uh, in law in enforcement system and I uh, worked as a prosecutor almost uh, 17 years. And I uh, ended my career uh, last December. So uh, <clears throat> I was uh, surrounded daily by my colleagues, other prosecutors, also by investigators, uh, defense attorneys, charges. Uh, and uh, yes, I can say that uh, this system was a closed system. And uh, our daily activities and, uh, and our main concerns uh, were only known uh, to us. 
So, uh, <coughs> my colleagues often worked uh, uh, in those areas, for example, 10, uh, 20, 30 years uh, till retirement. And uh, they have provided also special uh, retirement funding uh, for their prosecutors, not for chances, not for defense attorneys, but for, for the prosecutors. So it means that uh, uh, <coughs> it's, uh, in every way, it's very safe to work as a prosecutor if you know 100% that uh, you will have a nice long retirement period. I do not know it. And, uh, and uh, therefore, I just uh, never, I never thought about uh, retirement, and, uh, and uh, it was sad that uh, many of my colleagues uh, talked uh, about retirement conditions and how much they will learn, uh, for example, uh, when the re retirement period will start for 20 or, 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 or something in the years. So, um, Laws and court uh, decisions, uh, I can say, uh, were my daily companions. So I know something about laws, and uh, uh, you can, uh, for example, eva evaluate my work. Uh, uh, how you can evaluate prosecutors' work? Just. Uh, uh, you have to look and, uh, and uh, see how many convicted persons uh, you will have uh, 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 one year. And uh, this uh, will give some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, <coughs> example of success. So I, I bet that this is uh, very boring for you. So, just uh, to to think always about uh, the convictions and uh, and, uh, and and so on. And I can say that uh, often you identify yourself uh, uh, through the laws and and through the situations and and also through the criminal cases and. Uh, and uh, how good you are, for example, knowing all the laws, uh, and uh, and also, uh, in a broad sense, that is your professional work. So, uh, people in this area uh, are very busy with uh, with uh, their working uh, lives, and. Uh, if uh, this environment does not uh, favor closer interaction uh, with other sectors, it uh, can be called a uh, very close uh, uh, environment. But uh, uh, what happens, uh, what happens uh, uh, to a person when he's uh, all the time uh, with the same tasks all the time with the same colleagues. In the first case scenario, I think uh, that uh, nothing happens. Uh, person's uh, perceptions uh, become uh, uh, fixed and life. And also people will have a, will have a concrete defini uh, definition. So, uh, not only the laws and not, not only the court rulings will become your daily compliance, but also, uh, also routine becomes your daily companion. But, uh, you know, there are uh, constant uh, changes in, uh, in different uh, areas and uh, of course, uh, one person cannot be aware of everything, so you have to learn 
and uh, discover new things and I think that uh, this is the main rule in life. But uh, a person should always be uh, ready for a big change. As I described the situa situation uh, of the prosecutors, then you heard that uh, uh, people are living uh, this uh, uh, big, uh, long life in prosecution departments. And uh, it seems uh, boring because uh, the, main, uh, the main task is uh, to draft uh, documents uh, to read uh, criminal cases, which uh, sometimes are very big and, uh, and, uh, and also very complex. And uh, I can say that uh, sadly we are afraid of, uh, of uh, we, we are afraid of changes and uh, this is a definite fact. So, uh, uh, even uh, if they are just, just small ones. Uh, do I want to say that uh, lawyers are boring? No, of course not. Lawyers are not boring. Ra lawyers are very clever ones. So uh, my previous colleagues were, uh, were all professionals. Uh, and uh, this uh, this uh, uh, this work uh, uh, presents always uh, new challenges because laws and jurisprudence uh, changes every day, and uh, uh, you will learn to cope uh, in very complex uh, situations. So. Uh, uh, now I said it, uh, lawyers are, are good and professional, so you know it. And I have nothing against my, uh, my uh, colleagues from uh, bar association or from the courthouses or uh, from the prosecution department. Uh, and you know, most of the lawyers are not talented only in their uh, work. Many of them have their own interests. Many of uh, them have interesting hobbies, I, I think. So uh, <clears throat> let's talk about me, not the other lawyers. Let's talk about uh, my hobbies. And I, I had, and I still have, uh, one hobby. I bet Ingrid knows that what is my hobby. Uh, uh, and, and I think that uh, you all know uh, what is my hobby because, uh, uh, because of my uh, current job. Uh, and, uh, and let's talk about that, how I changed my life. So uh, you know the hobby, my hobby, uh, took uh, such a dimension uh, that uh, it was a significant part of uh, the weeks uh, of the week, for example, 20 years. So I have uh, been in theater maybe a thousand times. Maybe, okay, maybe, uh, maybe more, I don't know. <laughs> But uh, I have uh, seen uh, many uh, productions, plays, uh, and uh, it means a lot because uh, the number is uh, quite big. So, uh, you know, watching the theater and to be in the theater houses was a basic need for me. So, uh, uh, they often asked uh, me about bloodline. You know why about bloodline? Because uh, they think that maybe uh, I'm related to the famous uh, uh, theater directors or actors or, 
or, or something like that. No, I have no, no connections. So, uh, uh, when I was a young boy, for example, 13, 14 year, years old, then I discovered a theater world. Uh, and uh, I went to the theater almost uh, four or five uh, times uh, in a week. week. So uh, it was uh, the big part of my life. And uh, with a great wonder, I looked to the theater directors and actors and all uh, the theater world, all the persons uh, who were related to the productions and, uh, and so on. And, um, and uh, I enjoyed their best uh, achievements and uh, I always, uh, I, I always enjoyed to see it, um, mm, for example, uh, to see how the, uh, how the actors or director uh, has changed over the years and, uh, and uh, to uh, uh, discover new di directions and, uh, and, and, uh, and other stuff. So, uh, the theater was for me a wonderful place, but also a mystical place. Uh, I can say that I love the theater. So, uh, uh, now I have been asked about this, why I love so much theater, why, uh, uh, why I need this uh, thing in my life, uh, why I don't live my life without uh, theater. And you know, it's uh, very hard to uh, answer to these questions. And you know why? Uh, uh, because, uh, can you explain to someone, someone why, why something has won your heart? It's very uh, difficult task. So, uh, <clears throat> I always uh, am in a big trouble when I have to answer to those questions because uh, uh, because I cannot describe it. I, uh, for example, maybe you have the same problem. How you will describe to other person, person why you really love someone uh, because it, it, it's hard you know? and, uh, and maybe you will have later good examples to share but, uh, but uh, it's a problem for me and, uh, and like I said I'm still uh, I'm st it's still hard to find to find uh, right words and uh, and also it uh, it uh, it makes harder to uh, define yourself so uh, this is a difficult task and uh, <coughs> uh, this uh, this person may help this uh, when the other people uh, can see that you are do, uh, doing your thing with a great passion and they, they can presume that uh, this passion is involved uh, with uh, love. So uh, they will have their answer. So uh, we can say that there is no problem also. And, uh, and what else uh, about the theater is uh, that uh, uh, sometimes it will also uh, 
annoy, uh, annoy others because, uh, you know, uh, I always uh, talk about uh, theater, about uh, new productions and, uh, and maybe great achievements in the theater field. And, uh, and all my colleagues were in, in other fields, so they do, <laughs> they didn't want to hear every day this, uh, this, uh, these stories. And, uh, and now I am blessed because uh, now I can share with my colleagues and with my partners these stories and, uh, and uh, also uh, and, and, and also, uh, I can talk uh, with directors and, and actors and uh, share my opinion. So, as I said, I am blessed. But still, uh, you want to hear uh, about uh, uh, this, why I changed uh, my uh, profession of a lawyer to a theater general manager. Uh, and uh, for what the reasons this uh, decision was made. Uh, I can say this, that this was not a planned activity. It uh, just happened. Uh, since uh, we all are alive uh, in this uh, room, the, thing, the things can happen only to us, because when we are dead, uh, things don't happen to us, uh, uh, they happen after us. So uh, we should always remember two things, two maybe basic things. We live and we die. And uh, in life uh, we are given a certain time and uh, we have to use it. And, uh, and you know the control is always in our hands. And, uh, and also it's popular to say that uh, think things will happen when the time is right. So uh, I left the prosecutor office uh, uh, half a year ago, last December. My decision uh, to quit was a long plan, and uh, it was very clear for me. So uh, you know, I even went. Uh, out from Estonia, some to my favorite place, to New York, uh, just for uh, ten days in November, just to go and think and make a decision, decision uh, which uh, will change my life. So uh, <clears throat> I came back, and uh, I was smarter, and I was. Uh, so, uh, a few of my friends uh, doubted uh, that uh, maybe this uh, move uh, is not right and I will miss my uh, colleagues and my job as a prosecutor and, uh, and, uh, and also this uh, this social safety or, or something uh, that, that, that uh, everything uh, is uh, guaranteed and, and, and everything is uh, safe and, and I always every month earn my money and, and, and the salary is good and, and so on and, and I will miss all the, uh, all the material things so no I haven't missed those things you know, I am 40 years old and uh, apparently a middle-aged person. Mm, does this mean that uh, I am in a critical age? 
uh, where changes uh, are related to crisis rather than inspiration. I don't know because uh, maybe uh, psychologists will know it when I will book my time, but uh, I don't uh, have need for this. So, um, <clears throat> apparently I feel, uh, I feel myself uh, very safe at this period of my life, so, uh, <clears throat> so I can say that uh, I definitely needed uh, this change. And uh, I was at home for three months and uh, at the beginning of this year. And uh, I decided to take time off. I thought that maybe I will write something or some play or, 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 or just uh, do something great. But uh, <clears throat> life did not offer me this, uh, this uh, peaceful course for long. So, uh, Vabalava Theater Center, uh, an open space center, was looking for a leader and uh, I was told about this opportunity and so I decided to do it. And since mid-April, it means that uh, two months, uh, I have been uh, Theater General Manager. What do you think? Is it interesting turn or not? Uh, three months ago, I could not imagine uh, imagine uh, such a new stage in my life. And uh, but then it just happened, and uh, I was happy. I'm still happy, and uh, there was a great deal of uh, eagerness uh, also, for example, um, some of my new col colleagues were very, very sensitive and, and they thought that maybe I'm not the right person for this job, and, uh, and but I also saw uh, uh, many, many friendly faces in the theatre world. So, um, <clears throat> and endless, and endless unknown areas for me. So, uh, now I'm learning this, how to make theatre, not only how to watch it. Uh, the role of the theatre manager, director, and, uh, and the creative leader is united in Vava Lava. And uh, it uh, gives me opportunity uh, to talk uh, about productions, uh, to prepare productions, to discuss about productions with directors and, uh, and actors, to find actors because I know, not personally, but I, I know all the directors and actors in Estonia. So, uh, this has led uh, to many interesting conversations to, with, with creative, uh, creative artists. And uh, I just uh, listen to them because uh, all the discussions are very interesting for me. And I always wonder how they think and, and how they work and, and, uh, and maybe I can also do something in the, in the future some, some to direct a good, uh, nice production or, or play. You know, recently I uh, participated in management uh, conference and uh, where I learned uh, that in person's life 
a tiny minor change uh, requires a concrete number of days. And uh, I don't know, this was new for me, but uh, little change means uh, 66 days. And uh, what, what we can say, we can say that I'm still very clean and uh, fresh, but uh, I'm still alive and I still want to take more and more challenges and to uh, work uh, with uh, creative persons. And, uh, and I hope uh, that uh, now, when I have this chance in my life, uh, then, uh, then I will enjoy it and uh, I remember it all the time. So it's all also very, very easy to very easy to forget the main basic things, all the important things. But now when I I found myself and I started to enjoy my life really, uh, then uh, then I have to be ready also that uh, sometimes there are some difficulties, but uh, but my life is uh, very good because my work is uh, my hobby. So maybe now we will have five, ten, fifteen minutes uh, for the discussion, uh, uh, for the questions. And uh, if you want to clarify or ask something, can you? can do it, so uh, do not hesitate to ask uh, questions and uh, to comment. Yeah, yes. Thank you, you already said about questions. Uh, so thank you, let's applause. <laughs> uh, it's always uh, interesting to hear someone's story and think about yourself. Uh, then, questions? Hi, my name is Fred. How much, if any, you have used your knowledge and experience as a prosecutor in a current position? So, uh, how, many, um, how many experiences, if any, you have used in a current position uh, sorry, I'll start again. <laughs> okay. Uh, at the moment, you are head of the th theater. Yes. Have you used um, some uh, knowledge from uh, being a prosecu prosecutor uh, in a current job? Oh, okay. In my current if you need. Uh, sorry. Okay. No, uh, I haven't used it, but uh, my previous job uh, gave me. Gave me gave me this, uh, this ability to think about also the legal issues and to see when the problem is coming. So it helps me to see, uh, maybe uh, I, can, I see the difficult, difficulties uh, earlier than others and, uh, and uh, also uh, it, uh, it uh, helps me uh, it helps me with uh, all the managing stuff and all the fundings and all the projects and uh, and because always this uh, legal background is very useful for you because uh, uh, but but I think that I will use uh, some of uh, my uh, previous knowledge but uh, I hope that. Uh, Mm, among my colleagues, there are no criminals. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Uh, you see, basically, for a long time, as far as I understand, you led a double life. You were a prosecutor and you were very passionate about the theater. Certainly, being passionate about art leaves a certain footprint. So, did you feel any conflict between these two areas of your life? For example, you might have be like a bit more emotional in your prosecutor job than than it, it is needed, or maybe you were like had some uh, influences of your very serious, very restrained job on your impression of the theater. So, did you have any conflict, and how did you how were you solving it? to be uh, uh, okay everywhere? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, I was a chairman of uh, ethics uh, council for the prosecutors so uh, uh, for five years. And uh, I know uh, a, a lot about prosecutors' e ethics and, uh, and other questions. So uh, these questions about the conflict uh, is very interesting because uh, I did not uh, have any conflicts because uh, uh, one of my uh, colleagues, uh, previous colleagues, for example, wrote uh, funny comic books and uh, this, uh, this was okay, but uh, <clears throat> I also started to write about the theater also, uh, I wrote some reviews and uh, yes, uh, there was a little conflict because they also asked for me uh, to the morning show in, uh, uh, to TV and, and just uh, to talk about new new productions and uh, yes this was uh, this was problem uh, uh, for my for my uh, last uh, boss and uh, and uh, and she didn't want that uh, this uh, theater wing uh, thing is uh, is uh, is so important for me because uh, uh, the prosecutor is quite different person, and uh, and uh, yes, and this was also one good reason to quit. And uh, and uh, and I also uh, want to say that uh, about this uh, about emotions and uh, about. Uh, emotional prosecutors. So I think that uh, we all have seen good American um, court dramas and uh, the prosecutors and the defense attorneys uh, must be very uh, powerful in the courtroom. So uh, you have to be like an actor in the courtroom. So I think that uh, this helped me a lot, that uh, uh, this uh, love to the theater, uh, because uh, this helped me uh, to, in, in, in court cases, in courtroom, because uh, uh, because I, uh, I had this uh, this knowledge uh, how to act, and sometimes, uh, and also not only the knowledge, and also um, this uh, this readiness uh, for this that I I I can go court and uh, and act. Uh, uh, also emotionally, emotionally, and and maybe will have some. Uh, also, maybe I will win the case. So I think that uh, at present time in Estonia, all the good defense uh, lawyers are also good actors, and uh, and uh, I. I think that uh, you have to be a little bit emotional also and uh, in, in the court because uh, uh, 
uh, you just need it. Uh, and um, I think that this is the answer, this, uh, uh, from my side, but yes, you touched, uh, you touched a very sensitive, uh, sensitive uh, topic for me, so yeah, uh, this was a, this was a problem and I don't know why, because uh, we have very good uh, uh, theater critic uh, from the Ministry of Defense, Meili Soitsalo, who is working for the state and also is a great, uh, uh, great writer also and, uh, and, and this is not uh, problem for the Ministry of Defense, but this is also a very important institution. Thank you so much. Uh, what was most challenging in your new job after you changed your life? In my new job in uh, theater open space, yeah. Oh, uh, I, as I said, I still learn it. So it means that uh, every day I will receive some emails with new info and, uh, and I have to turn to my uh, <coughs> colleagues and, and ask uh, some clarification about the situation, about the numbers, about the uh, uh, production basis and, and so on. And, but, um, oh, yes, uh, maybe in, in the first week there was question about uh, uh, riders and I did not know uh, who, uh, who, what uh, what is rider for the technician uh, in the theater. So and uh, some of my colleagues just started to laugh and uh, and then I knew that okay now they know how how uh, unprofessional and stupid I am. But uh, <laughs> And then I went home later and, uh, and I started to think maybe it's, uh, it's a wrong choice because it's uh, so good to be uh, in the places that you know the best to work uh, uh, with the same things and so on. So uh, stupid ideas. So I uh, never think about uh, this, but yes, the first days with the professionals who have worked in the field almost 10, 15, 20 years, years uh, the questions from them and, uh, and the discussions with them, yes, they were, uh, were very hard for me. <laughs> but still, when somebody is calling me and ask, for example, about the lightning and about the sounding, I still uh, will give my first answer that, uh, uh, sorry, I will consult with my colleagues and then I will uh, give this information because uh, I cannot be a sound designer or, or something like that. <laughs> Hello, oh, I'm Biana. Thank you for your uh, talk. Uh, I'm a visual designer, and I have such a question that it is possible. Is it possible to predict the criminal mind? Because um, predict criminal predict uh, what will happen because of uh, okay. the AI is coming. Artificial intelligence is here already, is and uh, all kinds of new technologies are coming. Um, maybe it is uh, possible in the future to predict what uh, people could do, like uh, in, in the history, uh, the theatre only uh, mirrored uh, Othello, Richard III or Hamlet or something like that. Uh, it was from uh, the real life, but in the future maybe it is better to predict and um, for instance, all creatives uh, have, I think, criminal mind because they have to overcome the laws, uh, no matter what laws, whether they are creative laws or whether they are laws mm, of the state. And uh, 
when they use their criminal mind wrongly, then there will be a problem. Yes? Yes, I, yes, I think so. What about prediction? I have such a question. Have you thought about it? Because you should be creative as a prosecutor too. Yes, of course. Uh, I, okay, I don't know what is the right answer because uh, <laughs> law provides all the uh, all the all all the situations and all the paragraphs. And uh, but yes, I'm uh, agree that uh, when. Uh, you're a prosecutor or charge, you have to be creative. You, you, um, you, you cannot only read the case and, uh, and you, you, you have to use also your, uh, your, your talent. And, and if the talent is creative, also includes creativeness, then you have to use it. So, but I cannot say that all the prosecutors and all the lawyers are are, are uh, creative in that mind, so uh, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> actually I don't know what is the right answer. I know that uh, I took challenges also in my previous work and, uh, and I was uh, creative and it meant that I took challenges. I, uh, we, we need uh, some kind of uh, a, a precedence and, uh, and new, uh, new court practice, then I was always ready to go uh, with a new case to the court and uh, to have, to make some practice, new practice and uh, I don't know if this is uh, enough for your uh, Question. Future here, yeah. so yeah, yeah, that's good. And so I guess we have for one more question. So you have a question. <laughs> Hi, I'm Johannes. Um, I would like to ask you um, what the process was for choosing the director of Lava Lava. Um, you you said that you had decided that you wanted to quit your job as a prosecutor and then the position was open and you just did it. I imagine it must be a little bit more complicated than that. And uh, then the next question is if you had decided to quit as a prosecutor first and then this came up, did you have a plan B, what you would have done if the position hadn't been available or had, had gone to someone else? Yes, you know, I'm still a legal counsel, legal counsel for one uh, company and uh, company is this uh, red glass house here. Uh, there is a cyber security company, Cybex Technologies, and I help them with uh, concrete e-platforms, uh, learning e-platforms, uh, which is related to uh, anti-corruption uh, fighting and then so on so uh, but uh, both uh, both Cybex uh, and uh, Vabanava uh, this opportunities uh, came just uh, the same time and uh, and now uh, I sharing myself also uh, 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 also between Cybexer and Vapa Lava, and, but uh, of course Vapa Lava is, uh, is the place when, where I must to be uh, the director. So, uh, but uh, you asked about uh, also, uh, also about this, uh, these procedures and uh, yes I can say that there were Five, four, five candidates more, and I was selected. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, one of uh, candidate uh, who worked in uh, No 99, which is now close theater company, uh, worked for 12, 13 years. Uh, 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 is joining my team from the August, Kairi Mendla, who will uh, be my right hand creative uh, producer. Uh, and uh, and uh, now uh, 
we both uh, start to work together. So uh, <clears throat> the person who also was a candidate, but now is will be a, a team member. So uh, uh, that's good, and uh, and I. Uh, I uh, also made many documents, also many, many written my, my vision and and my plans and uh, and uh, I don't know. They uh, <laughs> they liked it or they liked just the opportunity that they will have have a previous prosecutor who will uh, uh, who will have this fame and and. Uh, Fame, uh, because everyone will will uh, wonder why this person uh, made this uh, change, and and then we always, when I will give answer to these questions, then I always talk about Babalawa, and someday Babalawa is very famous place. And, and who is they? Who who picks the director of Babalawa? Baba. Uh, this uh, director was selected uh, 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 not uh, from uh, who for, uh, by the persons who uh, were also the foundators of Vamala. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so maybe last question. Last, like last, last. Do we have any? The last, last time. Uh, maybe I will sum up very quickly with one general question. You can answer quickly as you as you want shortly. What do you think? What is the main role of the theater nowadays? It's very like general question, but I'm interested. What what is your opinion? Like the role of the theater in now, nowadays? Is it yeah, yeah. or? Mm -hmm. It's hard to answer because uh, uh, we have uh, different types of theatre. So uh, we have uh, in Estonia also we have classical, uh, traditional theatre, and we have this avant-garde theatre. And it means that uh, uh, for someone theatre is just entertainment, and uh, for someone like me, theatre is. Uh, Yes, it's like a mirror. With uh, you can come to the other and uh, uh, to think about uh, think about the current situation about the, uh, in society. Also, you can think about yourself in society. And uh, when uh, <clears throat> and and it, it, it's. Uh, it's a very significant part of the theatre, and I hope that we will have more this kind of theatre, because uh, we do not have it enough in Estonia. Uh, in May I was again in Berlin, in Theatertreffen and other theatres in Berlin, Theatertreffen festivals, and, uh, and again I saw so many plays uh, which were very powerful because they touched uh, a person in society and uh, and uh, they started something. I started think about the things, about the situations, about uh, my role in society and, and uh, I just want to say that uh, when you uh, will come to the uh, theater then you have to leave uh, with some new ideas, some uh, new thoughts, and because of that, I think that theatre cannot be only entertainment place. So you can to go to circus, uh, then yeah. Okay. Yes, thank you. I hope that you will also leave with some new ideas today. So we're a little bit like theatre. Uh, so thank you a lot, Devon, for uh, your speech, for being brave to come in the morning and talk. And we have some small present uh, for you. 
uh, it's a bag which you can carry with you and remember that wonder is a uh, what is written there? <laughs> wonder is the beginning of the wisdom. Very, very short and very, I think, inspirational. And I want to add that uh, thank you for inviting and thank you for uh, coming and listening and thank you for the questions also and have a nice day. Yeah, you pass also, which is coming, yes. Yeah.